Welcome back to another lesson from Getting Started with WordPress, a free online course by the Clickstarter. Use this video as a guide and follow along on your own computer. In the previous lesson, we learned how to register a domain name and web hosting plan. Now that you've done that, let's install WordPress. If you already have WordPress installed and running, feel free to skip ahead to the next lesson. Here's the brand new site that I registered with Bluehost. At the moment, there's nothing on the site except the default welcome page. In this lesson, we're going to install WordPress here. There are two ways that we can install WordPress. The first is by using Bluehost automatic installer. The second way is by installing WordPress manually. In this lesson, we'll be learning how to install WordPress using the automatic installer. These make installing WordPress a point and click process, but there are also some steps to take before and after the installation. Ready? Let's get to it. We start by logging into the web hosting control panel. On Bluehost, click the login button on the home page and then enter the username and password. After we've logged in, we'll arrive at the control panel. If you remember, there's currently a welcome page where we want to install WordPress. So the first step is to remove the welcome page and any other default files. Scroll down the control panel and look for the file manager. Click on its icon and an options window will appear. Select to open the web root for the domain and choose to show hidden files. Then click open. A new window will appear and show us the files in the web server. Delete all the files here to remove the default files. The exception are any add-on sites that you may have added to your Bluehost account. Let's have a look at our handiwork. The welcome page is gone and now we're ready to install WordPress with the automatic installer. Next, we'll use the Simple Scripts automatic installer to install WordPress. Other web hosts may use Fantastico or Softaculous. All of these perform the function of automatically installing applications on the web server. However, they will look slightly different from each other. Many of them have a WordPress icon right in your control panel like this. Click on the icon to begin the installation process. On the next page, we see some information about the application we are about to install. Click Install to proceed. We are now presented with some options for the installation. The first step is to choose where to install WordPress. If you have added more domains to your hosting account, they will appear in this drop-down. We want our website to be at the root of the domain, so we will leave this field blank. Otherwise, specify the directory where you want to install WordPress. Step 2 is optional, but let's have a look anyway. These boxes let us set the title of the new website and the username and password for the admin account. For additional security, you should not use the default admin username. Change it to something unique. Finally, select the checkbox to agree to the license terms and click complete to finish the installation. The next screen will show us the install progress and display a confirmation message once the install has been completed. Here's our login information. Be sure to note it down. We will learn about logging into the WordPress admin area in another lesson. Now let's have a look. And now you see that the previously blank web page has been replaced by a WordPress website. And that's it. You've now installed WordPress and you are ready to publish your content to the world. One final step when using the automatic installer. Some may install an outdated version of WordPress. If this is the case, you will be notified that a new version is available when you log in and you should upgrade immediately. Refer to the lesson on staying updated and secure to see how easy it is to upgrade WordPress. I hope you found this lesson useful. We provide additional content and a support forum to registered members of click2launch.net. 
Sign up for a free membership by visiting this link.